Hey everyone, uh, I've got this shelf uh, here that I've designed in SketchUp, it's sort of a uh, slot together, bolt together shelf, uh, and we're going to go ahead and take it from uh, SketchUp here and cut it on this machine here, on this uh, sheet of ply we've got all set up here, and I've got a vacuum table on this machine. Um, this particular sheet had uh, quite a bit of a warp to it, so I do have it uh, clamped on four corners just to keep it down and you'll see how we do this here. So once you have your completed model, uh, go ahead and hit our fabric button and it gets uploaded. Now I have some of the parts of this cut already, um, so I don't need to cut everything that's here. Uh, but first, we're just gonna pick the machine that we're cutting on, which is our ShopBot High Voltage Centroid, which is this machine right here. Um, we're gonna be cutting this out of plywood and for a bit, I already have this set up in here, so we're gonna use our super compressor bit. Um, we're gonna say, not yet. I'm gonna leave the sheet size at um, 96 by 48. And for the components, I'm actually making two of these shelves, so I'm gonna need four of the sides. I already have these little strips uh, cut out, so I'm just gonna zero those out. Uh, and I actually already have the tops that I need, because uh, I had cut those out out of another sheet. And I'm gonna need four of these shelves. Um, and I already have four over there. I need eight total, so I just need to cut out four uh, right here. So since we're all done with that, we're gonna go up here and click Manufacture. And this is gonna nest and lay out all of our parts. You can see them here on our, on our sheet. So this one, you probably noticed, this is not a full sheet. Uh, so I'm actually gonna cut, uh, this spills onto the second sheet. I'm gonna cut that out here. Now I do have clamps in the corner, so I'm just gonna unlock uh, these parts and just move them away from the corner so I don't run into my clamps. And that's it. Uh, you can see here we've got tool paths. Um, I do have some corners here. And it's probably a little hard to see, but um, I do have some parts that uh, insert into these and round bits don't make round corners, so I have the fabric dog bone option turned on, so these will get uh, dog bone cut automatically, so I don't have to draw those um, in CAD. So these tool paths look good. I'll go ahead and download them, and we'll save it right to our desktop, and then I'm gonna go into my controller, and back out of here. We'll load up that tool path that we just made, Do a little preview. Everything looks good. So I'm gonna put the camera down and go cut this out. So you can see this first tool path I'm running is a drilling tool path and it's actually using the air drill on my machine and it's just drilling really small holes and this job there actually are a lot of screws that hold it together so I use um, little uh, pilot holes that are drilled by the CNC to accurately place the screws. And what I'm actually gonna do in this project is I'm going to use those uh, screw holes as a way to hold down this material. And this plywood has a tendency to not stick to the vacuum very well. So you see here, I'm just gonna go use those markings and uh, spread some screws around these parts so uh, we don't lose any of the parts in the process. And here you can see we're starting to cut out some of those pockets. So um, Faber will organize your cuts into a logical order. It'll do drill holes first, then pockets and internal details next, and then it will cut out all the parts. So here we're making those slots and uh, adding those dog bones that you saw in the toolpath preview. Uh, I'm gonna speed it up here so we can get to the fun part, which is assembly. So here we're just going to run the rest of the tool paths. It's going to cut out all those sort of internal triangles and little slots and things like that. And then it'll go to the outside of the parts and finish cutting those out. Uh, pretty simple tool paths. I didn't run these ones too aggressively on this one just because this material is a little bit on the softer side. I went ahead and cut that other full sheet off camera. And here I am with all these pieces, just kind of uh, banging them together, putting those screws in. Again, I'm using the same holes that I'm assembling with as I use to uh, hold the parts down on the table. And then uh, putting the shelves in, is just a matter of putting the bolted connections in, uh, connecting the other side here. And then you get a really durable, uh, really sturdy shelf, just like that. 
And all this was done using this SketchUp model that you see right here um, and going directly from this model to G-code using Fabric.